In today's Morning Meds, we'll talk all about meditation and how you can incorporate it into your Christian life. So if you're ready, then let's go. Good morning. Good morning and welcome back to Morning Meds where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like what you see on Morning Meds, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that we can make it through this life together with the help of God. The push for meditating is huge. Everywhere you look, there's an encouragement to meditate. But as Christians, we must be very careful because some meditation practices are not God-focused, but are instead self-focused, focused on nature or other objects and idols. And other types of meditation focus on emptying the mind, which is a direct contradiction to what God's word says. We will quickly touch on some of the different types of meditation in order for us to decipher the difference between Christian meditation and secular meditation. So let's go. The six main types of secular meditation are spiritual, mindfulness, transcendental movement, mantra, and focused meditations. Spiritual meditation, not to be confused with the Holy Spirit, focuses on reaching a higher state of consciousness or being. Mindfulness meditation teaches you how to slow down racing thoughts, be fully focused on the now. Past, present, and future are momentary sense impressions. Movement meditation is an attempt at clearing the mind through deep breathing while performing movements, most notably yoga. Mantra meditation is a focus of quieting and calming the mind with a sound, phrase, or word recited either aloud or silently. Focus meditation involves concentration using any of the five senses. You can focus on internal breathing, focus on one thing with your sight or touch, or use a gong for sound. Transcendental meditation, or the TM technique, allows your active mind to easily settle inward through quieter levels of thought until you experience the most silent and peaceful level of your own awareness, pure consciousness. This can only be taught by a certified TM teacher in a course. It does cost money and is not connected to any spirituality or religion. Most meditation ideas that you find in the secular world will fall under either one of these categories. So since we've discussed that briefly, let's talk about the safe, scriptural, spiritual meditation that we should be participating in only as Christians. Meditation is mentioned 23 times in scripture. So God clearly wants us to meditate. The difference is we should be meditating on God, his laws, his precepts, his thoughts, his decisions, his character, his nature, and his wondrous works. Never once in scripture are we encouraged to empty our minds or to reach a higher state of consciousness. We are actually told exactly what to think on. God does not do idle. Idle hands, idle minds, idle thoughts. No, he wants us filled with his Holy Spirit and his word. And God's thoughts for you already include all of the benefits of secular meditation. Don't get caught up in the past. Don't worry. Um, respect the present. Be content. He also gives us a focus. Seek the kingdom and all these things and its righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Jesus' presence is freedom. It's light. It's warmth. It's all of those things that meditation claims to provide. But you don't have to practice it. You don't have to get good at thinking about God. You don't have to get good at meditating on God's word. 
It's so beautiful because everything that the world offers, God is giving us for free. You don't have to pay a trainer. You don't have to go to a course. It's there. His word is there. His love is there and it's free. As Christians, we successfully meditate when we break down scripture so that we can understand it and explain it to another. We can also meditate through scriptural memorization, memorizing verses, chapters, or books of the Bible. We can also meditate by focusing on God's greatness, his mighty acts, and his excellent works. And lastly, we can meditate through songs of worship, sung in silence or aloud. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your goodness, greatness, and awesomeness. Lord, there's so much that you've done, so much of who you are that we could just think on and meditate on, and it would just make our day go by so much better. We love you, God, and we ask you, Lord God, to allow us to have the courage to just commit to your type of meditation as Christians. We, Lord, we know that the world has it down pat. We know that they are doing things that are, uh, show. they're trying to show that their way is better, and we know that that is not true, Lord God. Your word is active, it is living, and it is sharper than any two-edged sword. So any meditation that we do on your word, it will change. It goes to the very marrow of man, and it changes our heart. So so we love you, Lord, and we ask you, God, to just keep, allow your Holy Spirit to keep it at the forefront of our mind, to meditate on your word, meditate on your goodness, sing songs of worship to you, memorize your scripture so that it can be written on our hearts, written on our minds, so that we may not sin against heaven or against you. Lord God, we ask that the meditation of our heart and the words of our mouth be acceptable in thy sight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.